Hello guys, in today's video we are going to be making some paper airplane type dragons and we're going to have a little bit of help here from George's dad, George the first, so stay tuned. So George is down here just keeping an eye on things and all I've done is taken a paper plate and folded it in two. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to draw our dragon's body. So I'm going to start about here and I'm going to go up. So this is going to be the neck, so it needs to be nice and sturdy and then I'm going to Throw um, a line up here. So following this curve on here, and then I would say I want his wings to be about like that. And then we're drawing his wings. And then once we've done, fold in. And then to do his back, we're going to go down just like that. Cool. So now you should have ended up with something like this. So this is a paper plate, or once was, and now we have our wings and our body. And then from the scraps of the same paper plate, I cut out a head and a tail, which will be then fastened on the inside like that. Okay, so all I've done is combined those three pieces together. I put a staple in here where the head is, and then I put another one here for the tail, and then one in the middle just to balance it out. And then as you would do with a normal paper plane, I just folded down the wings. So now comes the fun part. You get to paint your dragon because this one is already red. I think I'm gonna stick with this one being a Welsh dragon and I'm gonna to continue to paint him red. As you can see here, I've had a go at drawing Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So I can't wait to paint him. This is the Welsh dragon done. I just put some dragon, I guess they're lines, underneath and give them some scales on the bottom. Um, and there's George there, he uh, approves of this one very much. And I have Toothless. And there he's got his special edition on his tail as well. I really like his bright green eyes as well. So time to get these guys on a test flight. I have not flown a paper plane since I was like seven. So if this doesn't go very well, just blame my lack of training. Right, here we go. Oh! So clearly I'm not the best at throwing these, but even though I really like how they turned out, I think they're super cool. And you can just play with them as well, just by themselves. So yeah, I look forward to seeing your versions of these and having fun, experiment with them. Maybe it would work if you had more weight at the front, more weight at the back. So it turns into kind of like a science experiment, but yeah, go for it. And uh, I wonder if you could fly yours further than mine, which wouldn't be that difficult. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.